the dark yeah, truth about the league. The top NBA. basketball players are looked at as gods to some, being loved and praised by many. Many people that watch the NBA dedicate hours of their lives and become so invested in what happens in every game. But what if I told you that the NBA had a dark secret that they wouldn't want the world to know? That the NBA was created with a sinister purpose? Join me in this episode as we uncover the dark truth about the NBA. Many people watch the NBA every night there's a game, but I'm pretty sure many of them don't know much about the history of the sport, specifically who created it. The sport of basketball was created by James Nasmith in the year 1891. James was a Canadian sports instructor who was coaching at a YMCA international training school. This is what you may already know about James, but what many people don't know is that James was a known Freemason. James, the creator of basketball, was the worshipful master of Rosewell Lee Lodge in Springfield, Massachusetts. I have said many times on this channel that the Freemasons own everything we consume, whether it be food or entertainment, they own it all. The sport of basketball and the NBA are no different. Basketball was created by the Freemasons for the sole purpose of distracting and manipulating the masses. Like I've said many times on this channel, we only have one purpose on this earth, and it's to earn salvation. I can confidently say that this is the same for every religion. The Masons have taken an oath to serve Lucifer so they may have their paradise on earth. The Masons have taken it upon themselves to guide the masses to the new Masonic world where they are their own gods and rule alongside Lucifer. In order for the Masons to be able to achieve their goal, they needed to convince the people they wanted the same thing, to be gods and to be free from God's judgment. So the Masons knew they had to create things that were going to distract people and steer them off their intended path. If people are dedicating hours of their lives to other things created by the Masons like music, sports, and media, they can assure people weren't spending time earning their salvation, and eventually them seeking salvation wouldn't even be a thought on their minds. How could a person dedicate the needed time to better their soul if most of their time is consumed by things created by the Freemasons that are made to distract them? Most people nowadays are more concerned about the hot rapper or the best NBA player over the state of their afterlife and their soul. The Masons created icons, false idols, for man to worship to steer away from God. It is no different with the NBA and the stars they create. Many of the most famous and top NBA players have been Freemason. Shaq has openly admitted to being a Freemason on national television. Yo, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Are you a mason? Of course I am. Okay. <laughs> Shaq could be seen throwing up the all-seeing eye, and he could also be pictured with his Freemasonic brothers. I don't find it surprising that Shaq was also able to be a successful rapper and even a movie star. The reason they do this is to make their stars appear larger than life, and would assure the fans of those stars will be influenced by them. Kobe Bryant, who at one point was considered the best player in the league, also shows connections to the Freemasonic order. Bryant clearly indicated which side he was on every time he threw up the all-seeing eye. His logo he chose clearly shows who he was showing his admiration towards. If you look closely, you can see what his logo truly is supposed to represent. Just like we've seen with many celebrities, Kobe is showing his connection to Baphomet. Many of you guys have requested I look into what happened to Kobe. If you guys are interested in me looking into it deeper and making it what truly happened to Kobe, please comment Kobe below. If 700 people comment Kobe Bryant, the next video will be about him. Another NBA star who also has no issue showing their Masonic connection is Kyrie Irving. Kyrie can be seen just like Kobe and Shaq throwing up the all-seeing eye, indicating their connections to the Freemasonic order. Kyrie also has many Freemasonic tattoos, clearly indicating what side he has chosen to serve. With Kyrie, we can see what the Freemasons are using these star athletes for, to guide his fans to a burning end. Kyrie even released sneakers for his fans to purchase, where he proudly shows the all-seeing eye on them. LeBron James is arguably the most popular athlete in the game currently. Just like many athletes that are allowed to make it to the top in the NBA, LeBron shows multiple times his Masonic connection. He throws up the all-seeing eye in several games. He also chose to make his jersey number 6. He is also close friends with two of the biggest Satanists in the music industry, Jay-Z and Drake, two artists I have done videos on. Just like Shaq, LeBron has been able to become a movie star and a larger-than-life athlete who can influence millions of people around the world. It's clear to see the power the NBA has over its fans. Like we have seen before, the NBA has turned their fans into rioters in the past. In 1991, after the Bulls won the championship, fanatics of the Bulls took to the street to riot. Chaos ensued, people were injured and stores were vandalized. More riots continued to happen in the 90s, some being in 1992, 1993, 1996, and 1997, all sparked after Bulls victories. As you can see, sports can push people to do things they wouldn't do normally. 
This is exactly what the Freemasons wanted. The NBA turns its athletes into Masonic puppets, bending to the strings of their sponsors, who pay big dollars to own these athletes. These athletes will literally take money to trick you into spending your money. As you watch them celebrate their earnings, they convince you to spend your earnings on products that will boost investor sales. A great example of this is the Jordan brand, which is owned by Nike. Michael Jordan is one of the most famous sellouts in sports history. He signed a deal with Nike in 1984 and wore the iconic Jordan sneakers to one of his games, sparking sales and starting the shoes hold on the basketball sneaker industry. While Michael and Nike make billions, the kids that these sneakers are usually marketed to struggle to afford them. This is when they can be seen literally doing anything for it. This is exactly what the Freemasons were hoping for, to create false idols that the masses obsess over and worship as gods. Many people have speculated that the NBA could be rigged, with many articles being written questioning the authenticity of the NBA. In my opinion, I believe everything on TV is scripted, including sports. Everything we see on TV has been created with a specific purpose. They must control the narrative of what goes on. Do I think every single game is rigged? Maybe not, but I do believe they plant most of the wins and losses like we see regarding most things on TV. In my opinion, the NBA was created to manipulate the masses and distract them, keep them away from their true purpose. I am not at all saying playing basketball is evil, but I am just warning you guys not to dedicate so much of your lives to a game. This is what the Masons want. They want people to buy into it and forget about the real reason they're here. They create these false idols that millions of people follow to a burning end. As we enjoy watching our favorite athletes, we must remember what agenda they're used to push. We must not allow them to guide us off our intended path. We must remember to help those who can't see the truth, find the truth.